shooting in December. And later this hour, the president will make what his aides are describing as an emotional push for stronger gun control laws, an issue that the U.S. Senate will take up in the coming days. Our chief White House correspondent, Jessica Yellen, is here in the Situation Room, uh, getting ready to begin our coverage. This is a pivotal week. Three more infections of the deadly H79N9 virus, I should say, that has killed six people in the country since March. Day to day shares falling, though, in today's session. That is coming after JP Morgan said it may cut its earnings forecast for this year because of the devaluation of the Venezuelan Boulevard. And Netflix shares continuing to fall, fall, uh, fall today, excuse me. This as competition among pay and street. No further questions. You may step down, Mr. Simon. Before we adjourn for the day, there's one more thing. This court takes judicial notice of the fact that tomorrow is the ninth anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, which has no relationship whatsoever to this trial. Which is why I mentioned it. 9.30 tomorrow morning. Stay warm. And apply his bag. Very, very few architects. The left on any court in the three, Pete worried that it wouldn't be challenging enough for the pros. He thought it was just too easy. I mean, it was just a pitching wedge. What golf pro is going to miss a green with a pitching wedge? <laughs> I did. <laughs>
this and more broadly getting a vote on filibuster, that is why it is so critical to have people who are so credible as gun supporters taking the lead on this. Pat